Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Imagine waking up each morning to a world in chaos, where the familiar feels foreign and the future seems uncertain. The lines between reality and prophecy blur with each breaking news story, as the distant warnings of ancient texts suddenly feel all too real. The storms that batter our cities, the earthquakes that shatter the ground beneath us, the pervasive sense of disorder, what if these aren't just random events, but intentional signs? Could they be messages from a higher power urging us to pay attention before it's too late? As these ominous signs intensify, we're forced to ask ourselves, are we on the verge of the ultimate reckoning, a moment in history that will change everything? In this video, we'll delve deep into the mysteries surrounding these catastrophic events, peeling back the layers to uncover their true meaning. Are we witnessing the unfolding of a divine plan, a series of warnings meant to prepare us for what's to come? The answers may be more unsettling than you ever imagined. This is not just another story. This could be the key to understanding a future that's rapidly approaching. Join me as we explore the evidence and unravel the secrets that could shape our destiny. Are you ready to face the truth? The world today stands precariously on the brink of chaos, with ancient prophecies unfolding before our very eyes. Wars, famines and natural disasters are no longer distant threats, but the stark reality we face daily. These ominous signs demand our utmost attention, as they may be heralding the swift and glorious return of the King of Kings. The United States, in particular, has been battered by a series of catastrophic events, each one a clear and chilling sign of the divine retribution that God has unleashed upon this nation. From devastating storms to relentless earthquakes, it seems as though the very heavens have opened to pour out God's wrath. Is this the beginning of the end? Is his return imminent? These are the questions that compel us to delve deeper as we explore the significance of these events. Florida, a land famed for its sun-kissed beaches, vibrant communities and bustling cities, has been struck by a calamity of unprecedented magnitude, a disaster so severe that it has plunged the state into utter devastation. In an instant, the very foundations of this seemingly invincible region have been shattered, leaving behind a landscape marred by destruction and despair. This catastrophe is not merely a natural disaster. Many believe it to be a divine warning, a harbinger of God's impending judgment upon a world that has strayed far from his righteous path. The catastrophic events in Florida serve as a stark reminder of the transient nature of human achievements and the ultimate supremacy of God, whose power is unrivaled and whose will is absolute. As the calamity unfolded, the skies darkened and the winds howled with an almost otherworldly ferocity, tearing through the state with a vengeance that left no doubt about the seriousness of the situation. The once bustling streets, filled with the sounds of life and laughter, were eerily silent, save for the terrifying roar of nature's fury. Towering skyscrapers, symbols of human ingenuity and progress, crumbled like sand castles under the relentless onslaught, and entire communities were reduced to rubble in a matter of moments. It was as if the very hand of God had reached down to remind the people of Florida, and indeed the world, of his omnipotence and the futility of placing trust in the works. This disaster is not just a random act of nature, but a clear and unequivocal sign from God a divine warning that his judgment is near. The Bible speaks of such events where God, in his infinite wisdom and justice, allows calamities to befall nations as a means of calling them to repentance and reminding them of their dependence on him. The scriptures are replete with examples of how God has used natural disasters as instruments of his will to bring about a change in the hearts of his people and to steer them back to the path of righteousness. The calamity in Florida is a vivid reminder that human achievements, no matter how grand or seemingly indestructible, are ultimately transient and insignificant in the grand scheme of God's eternal plan. The towering buildings, sprawling highways and technological marvels are all but dust in the wind when compared to the infinite power and majesty of the Creator. This disaster has stripped away the veneer of security and prosperity that many had clung to. 
exposing the fragility of human endeavors and the absolute necessity of placing one's trust in God alone. For those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, the events in Florida are a clarion call to prepare for the days ahead. The Bible warns of a time when God's judgments will be poured out on the earth, and the signs of that time becoming increasingly evident, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, and pestilences. These are all foretold as precursors to the final judgment, and the calamity in Florida is yet another piece of this prophetic puzzle. It is a wake-up call for believers to examine their lives, repent of their sins, and seek God's mercy before it is too late. This disaster also serves as a sobering reminder of the ultimate supremacy of God in a world that often glorifies human achievement and exalts the self above all else. It is easy to forget that we are but creatures wholly dependent on the Creator for our very existence. The calamity in Florida has laid bare the futility of human pride and the illusion of control, reminding us that, in the end, it is God's will that prevails no amount of technology, wealth, or power can stand against the force of his judgment, and those who place their trust in such things are building their lives on a foundation of sand. In the face of this catastrophe, many are grappling with fear and uncertainty, wondering what the future holds. For believers, however, there is a deep-seated hope that transcends the chaos and destruction. The Bible assures us that while God's judgment is indeed coming, there is also the promise of redemption and restoration for those who turn to him in faith. The calamity in Florida is not just a warning of impending doom, but also an invitation to draw closer to God, to seek refuge in his love and grace, and to prepare for the glorious return of Jesus Christ. As the world watches the devastation unfold in Florida, it is crucial for believers to respond with urgency and resolve. This is not a time for complacency or indifference, but a moment of profound spiritual significance. The calamity is a reminder that the time is short and that the return of the Lord is imminent. It is a call to action for the church to rise up and proclaim the gospel with boldness and compassion, to reach out to the lost and the hurting. So to must believers prepare for the spiritual storms that are on the horizon. This involves deepening one's relationship with God through prayer, studying the scriptures, and living a life that is in alignment with his will. It also means being vigilant and discerning, recognizing the signs of the times, and not being swayed by the distractions and deceptions of the world in this time of crisis. The church has a vital role to play. Believers must come together in unity, supporting one another in prayer and providing practical assistance to those who have been affected by the disaster. The church must be a place of refuge and comfort, offering the hope of the gospel to those who are struggling with fear and uncertainty. But more than that, the church must be a prophetic voice, calling the world to repentance and pointing to the reality of God's coming judgment. The calamity in Florida is a reminder that the days of comfortable Christianity are over. The time has come for believers to take their faith seriously, to stand firm in the truth, and to be ready to face the challenges that lie ahead. The world is entering a time of great shaking, where everything that can be shaken will be shaken, and only those who are firmly rooted in Christ will stand. This disaster is a warning, but it is also a gift a chance to realign our lives with God's purposes and to be part of his redemptive plan for humanity. Yes, the unprecedented calamity that has struck Florida is a powerful and sobering reminder of the transient nature of human achievements and the ultimate supremacy of God. It is a divine warning of his impending judgment, a call to repentance, and a wake-up call for believers to prepare for the days ahead. As we witness the devastation and consider the implications of this disaster, let us not lose sight of the bigger picture. God is in control, his plans are unfolding, and the return of Jesus Christ is near. Now is the time to turn to him with all our hearts, to seek his face, and to be ready for whatever lies ahead. The calamity in Florida may be devastating, but it also presents an opportunity for spiritual awakening and renewal a chance to reaffirm our trust in God 
and to stand firm in our faith as we await the glorious day of his return. The storm that recently tore through Florida was not merely a meteorological event. It was a crucible of faith, a divine test that pressed upon the hearts of the faithful with unrelenting force. The winds howled like the voices of ancient prophets, their cries warning of the coming trials, while the skies wept torrents that flooded the earth as if to cleanse it of its sins. The devastation was widespread, leaving homes submerged, streets impassable, and lives shattered in the blink of an eye. Yet amidst the wreckage, a remarkable truth emerged. Those whose faith is anchored in God stood firm, unwavering in their hope and confidence in the promise of restoration and peace. This storm, though terrifying in its ferocity, serves as a profound reminder of the resilience and faith of the people, the face of overwhelming adversity. It calls for deep reflection, a renewed commitment to reconciliation, and a wholehearted return to living according to God's will. As the storm approached, fear and uncertainty gripped the hearts of many. The sky, once a serene expanse of blue, turned an ominous shade of grey, and the winds began to pick up, carrying with them the scent of salt and danger. News broadcasts flashed warnings, urging residents to evacuate, seek shelter, and prepare for the worst. And yet, even as the world around them seemed to spiral into chaos, there were those who remained calm, their hearts anchored in a hope that transcended the tempest. These were the faithful those who had built their lives not on the shifting sands of worldly security, but on the solid rock of God's promises. For them, the storm was not a cause for despair, but a test of their faith, an opportunity to prove the strength of their trust in God's providence. The storm's fury was unleashed with a vengeance, tearing through cities and towns, uprooting trees, and turning once peaceful neighborhoods into scenes of devastation. But even as the winds howled and the waters rose, the faithful stood firm. They knew that their God was with them, that he was their refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble, in the aftermath of the storm. As the waters receded and the full extent of the damage became clear, it was evident that the faithful had been sustained by something far greater than their own strength. Their faith had carried them through the darkest night giving them the courage to face the challenges ahead and the hope to rebuild their lives. The story of their resilience in the face of adversity serves as a powerful testament to the enduring power of faith of faith that is not shaken by the storms of life, but is made stronger through them. This storm, though destructive, has also been a catalyst for renewal. It has brought communities together, inspiring acts of kindness and generosity and reminding people of the importance of compassion and solidarity. It has also prompted a deeper reflection on the state of the world and the need for a return to the values of faith, hope and love. As the rebuilding process begins, there is a sense that this storm, as devastating as it was, has also been a wake-up call, a reminder that life is fragile and that our true security lies not in material possessions or worldly achievements but in our relationship with God. For those who have lived through this storm, the message is clear. Faith is not just a belief. It is a way of life, a source of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. It is what gives us the courage to face the storms of life with hope, knowing that no matter how fierce the winds may blow, we are anchored in the unchanging love and promises of God. The storm has passed, but the lessons it has taught us will endure. We have seen the power of faith to sustain us through the darkest of times, and we have been reminded of the importance of building our lives on the solid foundation of God's Word. As we move forward, let us take these lessons to heart. Let us recommit ourselves to living lives of faith, hope, and love, and let us be a light to the world, showing others the way to the true and lasting security that can only be found in God. The storm may have tested us, but it has also strengthened us, preparing us for whatever challenges may lie ahead. And as we continue our journey, let us do so with the confidence that comes from knowing that we are never alone, that God is with us every step of the way, and that his promises are sure and steadfast. The convergence of these events, hurricanes, wildfires, floods, 
and droughts points unmistakably to the fulfillment of prophetic scriptures and signals the imminent return of the Messiah, a moment long anticipated in Christian eschatology. These climatic phenomena are not mere coincidences or random acts of nature. They are divine interventions deliberate science intended to awaken the world to the reality of the times we are living in and to prepare for the coming of the King of Kings. The Bible is replete with references to the weather as a tool of divine communication, a method by which God reveals His will and makes His presence known. From the great flood in the time of Noah to the droughts and famines that plagued ancient Israel, the elements have often been used to execute divine judgment or to call humanity to repentance. In the book of Job, we read of how God speaks through the whirlwind, and in the gospel, Jesus himself calms the storm, demonstrating his authority over nature. Thus, when we witness today's weather patterns veering into the realm of the unprecedented, it would be unwise to dismiss these occurrences as merely the result of climate change or environmental degradation. Instead, we should consider them in the context of divine revelation, understanding that God, in his infinite wisdom, may be using these very events to shake us from our complacency and to remind us that the time of his return is drawing near. One cannot ignore the sheer magnitude and frequency of these unusual weather events. Hurricanes that should be once in a century occurrences now seem to make landfall every few years, each one more powerful and destructive than the last. Tornadoes carve through the heartland with a ferocity that leaves entire towns in ruins, while wildfires rage uncontrollably, consuming everything in their path. The earth itself seems to be groaning under the weight of these calamities, as if in travail, yearning for deliverance. And yet, within this chaos, there is a message and urgent call to attention that resonates with those who are attuned to the signs of the times. The faithful recognize that these are not random acts of nature, but rather signs of divine intervention, carefully orchestrated to fulfill the prophetic scriptures that foretell the coming of the Messiah. Scriptures such as Matthew 24 to 7 to 8 speak of how, in the last days in the last days, there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places all of which at the beginning of sorrows. This passage is part of a larger discourse in which Jesus describes the signs that will precede his second coming. It is a sobering reminder that the world will experience great upheaval before the final redemption. As we witness the increasing intensity of natural disasters, we cannot help but see the parallels between these events and the prophetic words spoken by Jesus. The unusual weather occurrences we are experiencing today not isolated incidents, but part of a broader pattern that aligns with the eschatological timeline laid out in the Bible. They are symbolic reminders that we are living in the last days, that the world as we know it is passing away, and that the return of the Messiah is imminent. But why does God choose to communicate through the weather? What is it about these natural phenomena that make them such powerful tools of divine revelation? The answer lies in the very nature of weather itself. Unlike other signs that may be confined to specific regions or groups of people, weather is universal. It affects everyone, regardless of race, creed, or nationality. A hurricane does not discriminate between the righteous and the wicked. It sweeps across the land with impartial fury, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. In this way, weather serves as a potent reminder of the universality of God's judgment, that no one is exempt from the consequences of sin and that all are in need of repentance. Moreover, weather is something that is beyond human control. We can predict it, we can prepare for it, but we cannot stop it. In this sense, it serves as a humbling reminder of our own limitations and of the ultimate supremacy of God. The wind and the waves obey his command, and when he chooses to speak through them, we would do well to listen. The symbolism of these weather events extends even further when we consider the specific nature of the calamities themselves. Take, for example, the increase in hurricanes. These massive storms, with their powerful winds and torrential rains, can be seen as symbolic of the coming wrath of God a tempest 
that will sweep away the ungodly and purify the earth in preparation for the establishment of his kingdom. Similarly, the wildfires that are ravaging the western United States can be viewed as a foretaste of the judgment by fire that is prophesied in the scriptures. The droughts that have caused widespread suffering and loss of life are reminiscent of the plagues that were sent upon Egypt, calling the people to repentance. Each of these events carries with it a deep symbolic meaning that resonates with the prophetic scriptures, pointing to the fulfillment of God's plan and the nearness of the Messiah's return. In the face of such overwhelming evidence, the question that remains is how we, as individuals and as a nation, will respond. Will we continue to cling to the illusion of control, believing that through technology and human ingenuity, we can somehow mitigate the effects of these disasters? Or will we recognize these events for what they truly are divine interventions, meant to draw us back to God, to remind us of our dependence on Him, and to prepare us for the coming judgment? The choice is ours, but the stakes could not be higher. The time for complacency is over. The signs are all around us, and they are becoming more urgent with each passing day. We must take heed, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the faithful, these unusual weather occurrences are not merely a cause for fear or anxiety, they are a call to action. They urge us to examine our lives, to repent of our sins, and to align ourselves with the will of God. They remind us that our true hope lies not in the things of this world, which are passing away, but in the eternal promises of God, they challenge us to live with a sense of urgency, knowing that the time is short and that the return of the Messiah is imminent. In this way, the weather serves as both a warning and a promise a warning of the judgment that is to come and a promise of the restoration that awaits those who remain faithful. As we move forward, let us not ignore the signs that have been given to us. Let us not be like those who, in the days of Noah, scoffed at the warnings and went about their lives as if nothing were amiss only to be swept away when the flood came instead let us be vigilant watchful and prayerful always ready for the return of our lord the unusual weather occurrences we are witnessing are not random acts of nature they are divine interventions symbolic reminders of the nearness of the messiah's return they are a call to repentance a call to faith and a call to prepare for the days ahead. The time is short and the stakes are eternal. Let us heed the warning, embrace the promise, and live in the light of the coming King. We need to notice that these unusual weather patterns are more than just meteorological anomalies. They are powerful symbols of the divine presence and harbingers of the impending judgment that the scriptures have foretold. They are part of the larger tapestry of God's plan woven into the fabric of history to guide, warn, and prepare his people for what is to come. If you enjoy this video, please give us a like, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next videos. Goodbye.